In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for NaBr plus Cl2. This is sodium bromide plus chlorine gas. When we look at this, we have the sodium and the bromine bonded together, these two things bonded together here, and then just Cl, the chlorines by itself. So when we have two different elements bonded together and then one element here, we're thinking single replacement reaction. That's where the chlorine is going to come in and it pushes the bromine out. So now the bromine, it's by itself. It's this Br2 by itself. The chlorine, that's bonded to the sodium. So we end up with sodium chloride. This is a single replacement reaction. With single replacement reactions, we need to see if the chlorine is active or reactive enough to push the bromine out. So we can look at this chart here, activity series for the halogens, that's group 17 or 7A. So here's chlorine and here's bromine right below it. So chlorine is more reactive than bromine. It's higher up our list. Because of that, it can push the bromine out. So this reaction will happen as written. Let's balance this equation and then talk a little bit about redox reactions. So I can see I have two chlorines here and just one. So let's put a two in front of the NaCl. Now I have two sodiums, so I need to put a two here. Two sodiums, two bromines, two bromines here. That's the balanced equation. If I write the oxidation states in for each element, I can see that the bromine goes from a negative one here to zero, since Br2 is a free element. So it's lost an electron. It's been oxidized. The chlorine goes from zero, since it's Cl2 is a free element, to a negative one. It's gained an electron. It's been reduced. So this is considered a redox reaction as well because electrons have been exchanged. So we have two types of reactions for NaBr plus Cl2. The single replacement reaction, and then we have the redox reaction. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for NaBr plus Cl2. Thanks for watching.